Hello, my name is George Ash. This drawing was created using AutoCAD. It contains two viewports which are currently frozen. Actually, this is one of many drawings that I am uploading to YouTube. There will be between 20 and 30 new drawings available soon. My students at the Technical Institute where I teach have fun with them. When they are available for download, I'm sure you will enjoy them as well. The purpose here is to recreate the solid model of the object shown. We will erase the solid and then redraw it. The first step is to thaw, thaw the layer called B ports, which contains the viewports. Then we will erase the viewport, the smaller one, which contains the model. Next, we'll double click inside the large viewport so as to get back to model space. For convenience, let's freeze the layer which has the dimensions on it. At this time, I'll use the command called Polyline to trace over in the front view the polygon and that small right triangle. Now, let's thaw the layer which contains the dimensions. You can see the tracings in the upper right corner of the viewport. Using the view toolbar, I'm going to select the southeast isometric view. Using AutoCAD's pan and zoom command, I'm going to zoom in on the two new drawings. Now, let's extrude the polygon to a distance of 1.25. We will now extrude the little triangle to a distance of 0.62 and we will move the little triangle to its proper location on the big polygon. This would be a good time to use AutoCAD's union command to join both solids together. What we end up with is a 3D wireframe drawing. If we add shading to it by using the visual styles toolbar, we can get a better conception of what it looks like. It looks okay, but obviously it's in the wrong position. Now we'll use the 3D rotate command which is found on the modeling toolbar. And the various axes will be shown by the bands with the different colors. I'm going to select the red band because I want to rotate the object 90 degrees counterclockwise. When I select it, the red band will turn to yellow and then I'll type 90 enter. To see the whole drawing, we will zoom extents and then move into the top view using AutoCAD's view toolbar. Now we'll use pan and zoom to show the 2D drawing better and hopefully it will hide the solid. And then we will double click outside the viewport. Now we'll want to make another viewport in which to show the solid using AutoCAD's command called MView spelled M-V-I-E-W and selecting two points. We'll double click inside and change the view to southeast isometric. And then using pan and zoom we'll enlarge the solid. Once again we'll double click outside the viewport to get back into paper space. Using the match properties button on the standard toolbar 
we'll want to make sure that both viewports are on the same layer called viewport B ports. Now we want to enter the layer command and go back to the layer dialog box in order to freeze the viewport called use the viewport layer. This is the end of the tutorial. However, another clip will now be added so that you might become aware of other videos which I am producing. For more information regarding the videos on this clip, please check out YouTube or contact me via email. And don't forget to practice making solid models. It's fun. Thank you for watching.